Hello all, in this video we will see how to display PZM004 energy data on a DWIN HMI display. In our previous video we tested PZM004 the latest version 4 with ESP32. Now we shall add DWIN HMI display to display the data onto, onto this uh, display. The display model is 7 inch 15 WTR, resolution is 80, 800 by 480. 7 inch with uh, casing type commercial grade the connector here is for power as well as communication communication will be using t2 or 2 which are at rs232 levels so the connector here is rs232 and not ttl uh, let us open the back cover first remove the uh, pbt connector and then pull open the back door no screws are there just uh, push lock type so gently open the back cover you can see at the top uh, rtc battery socket and then the main uh, processor engine at the bottom you can see sd card slot here we'll be using 8 gb or 16 gb memory card only up to 16 gb it supports to upload the program onto dwin display uh, we'll keep open the back door so that often we'll be uploading the code for making changes first let us see the connection between pzm and the esp32 the pzm new version uh, do not have any yellow capacitor or uh, uh, the uh, discharge resistor at the top you can see the uh, left hand side connection is ac that is 230 volt and uh, phase and to the right you have to connect the ct coil ct coil is capable of 100 ampere once power is given to this board never touch this board this ct coil uh, is capable of 100 ampere and you have to run through the load wire load phase wire through this ct coil here for uh, uh, giving load we are using a power strip the end of the power strip three pin connector is cut we are not using the earth wire green wire and the phase wire passes through the ct coil and reaches the phase the neutral wire directly goes to the neutral so for uh, measuring the values the phase of the load should pass through the ct coil and the uh, esp32 here we are using 38 uh, pin version and a base baseboard like this is used for ec connection this baseboard has got a jumper this jumper should be placed at 3.3 uh, volt level so that uh, all the red rail will be at 3.3 volt level and black rail is at ground and the green rail is for GPU pins to connect with the PZM and uh, the uh, connection is GPU 16 RX2 and GPU 17 TX2 is connected to PZM this is reverse connection this is a TTL level so directly that is a reverse connection tx to rx rx to tx is the connection and we are using hardware serial 2 and for uh, connecting with the dwin we require rs232 to tt8 board like this before that let us see the dgas software uh, uh, design open the dgas software there is only one image background image load that image onto the software and go to oh, text display and select data variable display this uh, data variable display uh, enables display of values against the vp address so we have to assign vp address uh, this is the vp address range that is for uh, displaying the slave address we use the vp 2000 and for voltage 2020 current 2030 and the number of decimal places setting that is uh, the integer digits we are uh, setting the a type as integer digits and number of decimal digits is very important so according to this chart we have to set the uh, decimal digits that is for voltage uh, decimal digit is 1 current decimal digit 2 for power watt the uh, vp address is 2040 decimal digit is 0 energy 2050 decimal digit is 2 frequency 2060 uh, decimal digit 1 and for power factor 2070 is the vp address and the number of decimal digits is 3 
so according to this chart you have to uh, do the setting and finally save this and go to the uh, serial uh, that is the cfg uh, 32.icl you have to create icl file select the background image and then create icl here you have to store it as 23.icl and not 32.icl as in other versions of the uh, DWIN display because the NOR flash for this model is only 8 MB for others it is uh, 16 MB this is economy version 8 MB so store it as 23.icl as well as go to CFG edit and change the ICL address to 23 this is very important otherwise background image will not be taken into account and then store that CFG file as tf t5lcfg.cfg no other naming is allowed inside the dvin underscore set folder also inside this uh, folder you have to store the dot hzk file that is a font file you can uh, generate it from the uh, welcome window at the bottom you have the uh, link you can generate it and store the dot hzk file inside the dvin underscore set folder and if you check up the data sheet of this model 15WTR 7 inch model you can see the NOR flash is 8MB only so the background image should be stored at 23.icl and not 32.icl 32.icl is not used here finally copy this uh, dvin underscore cell uh, save and then generate and finally save the uh, dvin underscore set folder to the your SD card provide the power and that is 12 volt 1 ampere to the Divin 7 inch display. Now the display will run the factory program. Remove the power, plug in the SD card to the slot. In this SD card, we have Divin underscore set folder that is our project folder. Now provide the power. You can see the blue screen that is uh, download screen. You can see all the files we have generated. Uh, touch file uh, dot icl file all file cfg file all are being downloaded and once it is completed remove the power and then remove the sd card with with power on do not remove sd card once sd card is removed plug in the power now you can see the uh, program running but no values are seen as we are not connected the uh, pzm yet the address volt current power uh, power factor frequency all are displayed on the screen now the values are all zero now let us see the connection between uh, uh, dvin display and esp32 here r2 and t2 are used t2 goes to tx of this rs232 male connector r2 of dvin goes to rx of this male connector and ground to ground so this rs232 male connector you have to solder the wires and to make that you need rs232 to ttl board this board requires power source of either 5 volt or 3.3 volt which can be directly taken from your esp32 base board so power and uh, ground both are provided and connection is straight rx232 board rx pin that is gpo 18 of esp13 esp32 goes to rx of uh, ttl board and the tx gpo 19 that is a TX1 goes to TX of RS232 board. Connection is straight. While the PZM to ESP32 connection is reverse. Please note this connection. This is very important. Otherwise, you will not get the data. Once you provide power to PZM board, never touch the board as it is very dangerous. Uh, remember that. Never touch the board while uh, AC is provided to the PZM board. Now on the display, you see all uh, values zero as we are not provided uh, power and we are not uploaded the code. Now let us see the code. Here we have used PZM mandula library and then hardware serial.h to declare the serial ports. Two hardware serial ports. Serial 2 is for PZM connection. Serial 1 is for DWIN connection. Serial 2 is GPO 16 RX2, GPO 17 TX2, which goes to PZM, and GPO 1, which goes to DWIN, is GPO 18 and GPO 19, which is serial 1. This is declared using the uh, hardware serial.h file. So
so uh, gpu 18 is rx gpu 19 is new tx that is a serial one and inside the while setup we declare the baud rate dwin baud rate is 115200 pzm baud rate is 9600 this is also very uh, important point and then we start both the serial hardware serial and we use the dwin underscore uh, send value to send data to the vp address so according to this uh, hex array uh, which uh, which is required for the dwin we send data 5a a5 is the head 05 is the number of bytes 82 is write code and then the vp address high high byte is 20 only the low byte will change that is address low and then the data uh, high and data low that is in big Indian mode, we send the data. If you check up the VP address we have assigned, it uh, starts like 2000, 20, 20, 20, 30. So the higher byte is same, that which is 20, only the lower byte changes. So we use in the code 20, that is higher byte as standard and only the lower byte, against the lower byte, we upload the code. And we use dwin uh, that is serial dot write to write the hex array. If you want, you can print the hex array. And inside the void loop, we use the uh, pzm library to retrieve the data. <coughs> all uh, current power, volt, energy, frequency, all data are retrieved. And uh, the data is sent to the respective VP address. Uh, using this uh, dwin underscore send value, uh, we use only the low byte of the address that is 00, 20, 30, 40 like that and send to the respective VP address of the DWIN display. You upload this code and then open the serial monitor. Now you get error as we are not provided power to the PZM board. Now provide AC power to the PZM board. Uh, 230 volt once power is provided do never touch the pzm board now you can see the values retrieved all the energy values are retrieved voltage current power and energy frequency and displayed on serial monitor and uh, once the power is provided on the dwin display you can notice all the values on the top is the address which is the slave address one Voltage is around 230 volt and then the ampere that is the current consumed is 0 0.73 as you have set the decimal uh, points correctly it is displaying correctly and then the power uh, energy frequency is 50 hertz and then power factor is 1 all are retrieved and displayed correctly thank you for watching